For the last five years, Kentro Rinpoche Jampa Lodro has been touring the world, teaching the ancient wisdom of the Kalachakra Tantra. To understand what motivates Rinpoche to dedicate his life in this way, we asked him to speak about his personal connection to Kalachakra and its source, the sublime realm of Shambhala. When I look back my life, it seems like uh, uh, from the very young age, uh, I work in, uh, for two order uh, to the um, Shambhala uh, quality. Um, uh, I could say working toward the uh, practice Kalachara Tantra. Even I didn't know that time. Uh, for example, uh, from um, uh, before uh, five, a kind of like a more uh, ch uh, children, but uh, after six, the age of six and seven, and then uh, all my entertainment or all the inspirations. Uh, Nowadays, people have children have like so many toys and uh, so many um, internet and iPad, uh, video player, and TV and so forth. Is all everything about uh, body service stories? Uh, even uh, my mother is uh, illiterate and she can't read or write, but uh, uh, she loves uh, the stories and she begs everybody uh, uh, read the, the Bodhisattva stories and so so many wonderful stories uh, we hear them and I inspire them really really inspire them uh, so it's like that uh, and then also we have very good opportunities very very uh, genuine uh, great great lamas access with us uh, if they are now if they are alive is not where uh, cannot be accessed because they are so precious and so many people demands uh, but that time uh, you know is they are secret and pretend lamas uh, so they are still herders and like that and we are, uh, we have called Akagopo, a uh, very precious Turku, and then we have Turku Kata, and then we have Kempo Sanctan. Those are our neighbors, and you know, and then my, fortunately my mother and my father incredibly um, uh, great Dharma practitioners, so they really, really respect these lamas, and <laughs> so we have always have secret uh, teachings and even that time not allowed any religious uh, activities, but we always have the secret for us. And then after maybe age, um, uh, age 11, 12 to uh, up to 19, I was not a monk, but uh, is uh, practice, practice every day uh, because there is no other distractions. So. Uh, I only heard the yaks on the mountains by myself, and so I have all day have mantras. <laughs> so I accumulate so much mantras and you know billions and billions mantras accumulated, and with motivation of that inspiration of this body's sarva stories. So, uh, so that time I don't know about Kalachakra, I don't know about Shambhala, but. Uh, yeah, just the, the principles uh, I practiced. When I was 19, uh, my uh, father passed away. Uh, so this makes me even better. Uh, uh, one way, unfortunately, I lost my father so young and uh, I still uh, miss my father and I still wish he has great opportunities more. But uh, the other hand uh, for me is uh, this, I can sacrifice all teenagers' uh, destructions uh, uh, 
afflictions, whatever normal teenagers has, everything. I didn't have it a, a, a lot, but uh, uh, whatever I had, I can sacrifice. So then I officially uh, be monk, and and then 24/7 uh, I can focus uh, uh, Dharma practice. Uh, so I uh, first I practiced uh, Nyingma, uh, many um, different uh, uh, traditions of Nyingma. Uh, even I had uh, this kind of Bunga, uh, 500,000 uh, practices. Uh, three traditions like uh, Longsar and Nyang, uh, Songsar and then Nyangtik and uh, then Namchu, uh, like that. And then also I explored uh, Gilukpa tradition and then I uh, uh, explored that Kaju, Satya. I uh, had uh, met some uh, great lamas and I uh, study and practice, really, really focus. 24/7. There's no other distractions. Mm, enter uh, late 20s, and so, <laughs> and after that, I had uh, uh, some feelings, strong feelings, and intuitions and visions. So uh, then, uh, uh, I uh, mm, uh, heard Kalachara. So I didn't know where I learned Kalachara. I didn't know. So. And then I seek for, and then I meet uh, one monk. He already uh, done all the practices. He's very, very humble, and uh, and he don't act any important. But uh, I beg him to give me some transmission, and he kindly gave me transmission, uh, just oral transmission, long. And then uh, I practiced the five preliminaries together. He helped me practice and we practice together. <laughs> so, uh, and then after that, I try to find a qualified uh, Kalachara master. Uh, so then I, uh, so fortunately, I found my, uh, my master, uh, uh, Lama Lozan Chun Li, uh, the short name called Lama Lung Chun. Uh, I have so many teachers before, uh, they are all wonderful, but uh, you know, like the, for the first time, I really get uh, that uh, uh, sense of uh, uh, real Buddha. Uh, you know, that's I, that kind of sense of unperception uh, to award the Lama uh, So then I uh, fortunately received uh, uh, all the Kalajara practice instructions from him, and then. Also, uh, he gave me very uh, high duty, uh, two groups. I have to lead them, and I have to instruct them uh, after receive from him. So this make me very uh, extensive uh, work uh, for three-year retreat. Uh, so then I done the three-year uh, retreat uh, practice, um, uh, the Kalajara um, Avit group and uh, I lead them and uh, and then after I finished um, I uh, uh, I practice solitude practice I have intention to practice uh, solitudely many many years but uh, uh, always didn't uh, come uh, meet my um, inspiration sometimes I have to do other commitments but uh, uh, Regardless of that, uh, like a hundred days of uh, solitude practice or, or sometimes a few months and like that kind of uh, many uh, Kalachara practices uh, I did myself because since then I really uh, find the Kalachara is, is complete. And then slowly, slowly I realized that uh, Kalachara is incredible and also I realize more the Shambhala mystery, you know. So slowly, slowly I realize that Shambhala mystery is uh, demystified for me, you know. And uh, then I see the such important connection uh, we have, women and this uh, human, uh, this humanity on this earth. We have such important connection on Shambhala. 
And then uh, I uh, realized that Kala Chakra uh, Tantra is, uh, is more uh, com- completed than any Dharma because of reason is because come from Shambhala. You know, Shambhala is uh, all the tenth level bodhisattvas uh, there, and uh, and they uh, how do you say they re- refined dharma uh, because usually people mm, think that uh, Kala Chakra is very complicated and that's why not many people practicing. So many people received uh, Kala Chakra empowerments. Uh, you really received empowerment or not, but. So many people attend these ceremonies, but uh, not many people practice very well because uh, everybody thinks it's too high and too complicated. Uh, but I realize that uh, this Gala Chakra, Tantra, is you can practice with your limit, limitation. It's not uh, only complicated for everybody. Uh, it is. Uh, you can practice with uh, uh, our limitation. And uh, um, so any degree of uh, capacity you can practice. Uh, and uh, the most practical actually. Uh, and uh, that's I find. What is missing is uh, uh, if I think uh, in general uh, that people uh, missing uh, the genuineness and uh, uh, the closeness of the teacher and uh, uh, disciple or student. So um, is every everything is kind of like. A, um, more ego plane, mm, so that is uh, mm, unfortunate. <laughs> and uh, also, if some people are really genuine, but uh, um, they, they don't understand because it's kind of like a foreign for them. Uh, the Buddhism is foreign for them. And the other one is presenting, who is presenting is more uh, too traditional, so they expect uh, uh, two different cultures, uh, different uh, expectations, and not uh, very meeting, not very meeting, and then becomes a little bit fake, and uh, with tension or with uh, without intention, uh, becomes uh, a little bit fake. Uh, that's the problem. Uh, the other problem is. Uh, Mm, uh, the traditional people, uh, Buddhist traditional people, uh, without uh, um, structure, without uh, curriculum, they can practice. Not everybody, but the great practitioners, they can do it. But uh, for foreign people, this is uh, difficult because uh, you don't really know exactly what will happen. So therefore, so many people, I think the majority of uh, practitioners, they don't have realization. Uh, only just believe in, oh, maybe I do this, uh, is uh, uh, maybe good one day, or and otherwise, oh, I do this, feel better. Uh, that kind of uh, uh, the spiritual path, is, uh, I think this is missing. Uh, and uh, especially, um, uh, uh, that uh, compare with the Kalachara Tantra, then is uh, uh, the other doctrines uh, um, it go higher and higher teachings, and then more hidden, hidden, uh, and uh, unclear, unclear. That kind of uh, so this is Kalachara Tantra makes more clear, and uh, uh, therefore uh, Kalachara, only Kalachara Tantra g- can go with. Uh, Mm, uh, with uh, science, science and with uh, other religions, you know, like uh, you can cooperate with other religions and uh, science and uh, non believers and you know, and and you offer extra uh, mm, than any other systems. So therefore, 
is Kalachara is really we need uh, Kalachara Tantra, really this humanity need. Uh, that's how I feel. And uh, uh, also uh, the structure and the curriculum in Western education way, it's Western education similar way. If we have a path, exactly we have the goal and goal one goal is not enough spiritual path you need a maximum goal and minimum goal and between this what you can achieve everything make very very clear and also what is missing is uh, uh, the Jonang tradition nobody knows not many people knows uh, so the Kalachagra uh, Tantra the pure lineage uh, complete lineage holding in Jonang tradition but uh, not many people know that and uh, uh, so this is the mission. Uh, so many people have to aware of the Jonah tradition. Also the great, great practitioners, they are in remote areas and mountains and uh, remote monasteries and they can't speak any foreign language. So. And they don't have uh, travel documents uh, to travel, and this is the uh, big gap. I want to make the bridge, and uh, you know, and mm, uh, make the uh, the practice available, so you can connect with uh, other lamas. This is my uh, one of vision. My real vision is uh, in the future, we don't have any more spiritual confusion and we don't have any more spiritual unstability and we know exactly what is the goal and you know we know exactly and so we always inspired and then we transformed our community you know like you are one person you transformed all your circle and then your circle can transform uh, the community. Your community transformed your state and your region, uh, you know, state and then country. And so nowadays is uh, everything living in internet. So the world is very close. So if really we can make good examples and then very easy to uh, transform uh, others, you know, influence others. And of course, then gradually transform, <laughs> not suddenly transform, but uh, <laughs> so, uh, so then in the future, uh, we don't have n n no more uh, samsari world like uh, today, you know, everybody depressed and too many disease and too many natural uh, disasters and uh, that kind of uh, too many violence, all of them gone. Uh, to do this, uh, uh, the two things I my vision is uh, one is uh, spiritual people no, should not confuse and they can transform and uh, influence uh, the communities. Uh, but also, we need uh, fundamental education. Uh, we need uh, uh, some influence uh, our education system. So this I have, this maybe take uh, longer, I convince the whole world uh, um, education system, but this is my longer v vision. And first, uh, we have to um, uh, influence uh, the practitioners and uh, most intelligent people. And then, so we have uh, more capacity to transform the, uh, the whole world. Uh, through the education system. So this is my vision. This year we set up uh, Zogdan uh, uh, community, Zogdan Foundation. So Zogdan means uh, um, uh, completion dharma, which means uh, Shambhala dharma. So this is uh, is not new world. This is a uh, uh, um, uh, 13th, 14th century uh, that uh, uh, Tolpo Basherp Jansen 
he uh, made this uh, world more um, explored. Uh, it did, of course, exist before, but uh, more explored. So, which means is completion dharma. So, any other than Kalachagra, or is all dharmas, all spiritual systems have some limitation. But Kalachagra Tantra does not have a limitation. It is completion. Uh, therefore, you can we can think this is like a universal uh, uh, spiritual path. So, this I want to make a life. Uh, so. Uh, if we uh, set up this Zogdan community and then uh, this uh, Zogdan website and through this uh, international and then we have every um, uh, continent, uh, we have a uh, um, big uh, retreat center and we have big uh, um, uh, sanghas to influence that uh, local people and uh, and we slowly, slowly, we able to our education system, we can change and we can influence. And so then uh, this uh, real golden age uh, will be life. So this is my vision and this is the r r r real reason to set up uh, Zogdan uh, Foundation. Uh, if we have enough inspire if we enough to understand uh, this depth and this company uh, this complete dharma if inspired and then it uh, it will be a golden sangha and golden uh, age finally and so then the shambhala and the semi shambhala world very close and then we know more and more so the six yogas achieving uh, yogis uh, everywhere. This is my vision. All those uh, people, um, uh, I think I visit uh, 24 countries. Uh, this, uh, this from the 24 countries, uh, Dharma practitioners uh, who uh, hear Dharma from me and who received uh, some uh, initiation, empowerment and transmission, uh, anything received from me or a, even whoever, uh, a little respect of me and a little connection with me, please, can we uh, make a life this golden age through the Zogdan Sangha. Uh, so, can we uh, inspire, uh, we will transform uh, this world as Golden Age very sooner rather than we waiting for uh, a few hundred years. <laughs> so, this is, I uh, request everybody, please inspire.